Good morning. Morning, everyone. How are you today? Welcome to Root Shoots and Coffee. I'm Kirsten. And I'm Haley, and we talk about outdoor gardening and indoor houseplants. Those. <laughs> yeah. Um, so today we also kind of want to maybe talk about garlic some more, answer some questions, because I know it came up a lot in our chat last week. Um, so yeah. Cool. Kinda We're going to give it just a thinking. few minutes with a new update. I don't think you guys get to be on here ahead of time either. So yeah. mm -hmm. here we are now. It's coming up. So hopefully you guys have found us. Let's give it just a couple minutes. And in that, I'm going to move the phone that I forgot to move. Yeah, whoops. There's always something. Um, but yeah, so yeah, we want to contact what guys' uh, questions with garlic. We will be getting that into the store soon. Uh, we don't have an exact day, but it's on its way from my understanding. Yeah, it yeah. should be to us probably within the next week, and then it'll go on sale soon after that. So, yeah, so that's exciting. Um, but yeah, we also wanted to give you guys a little update as what? well. <laughs> Let's uh, mute that. <laughs> um, so, I. You're will, diving in. Yeah, what? well, I just thought, you know, put it out there. So, um,. Oops. Hi, Isha. Um, mm -hmm. I will be leaving at my gardener shortly here uh, to pursue a new field. I think you should have waited because not everyone's on yet. Yeah. We'll touch again watching. later. But yeah, so but just so you know, we'll touch it at the end too. But um, so we will be doing next week's videos well, 9.30 a.m. Tuesday, uh, like we usually do. And then after that, we'll, I, well, I will no longer be here, but there'll be hiatus with root shoots and coffee to see... If where it, we're heading forward yeah so mm -hmm. i hope you guys are here to join us this week and make sure to be here next week with us so you can get all the info on what we're well me and whomever are planning to do <laughs> next figure out either a new co-host or something maybe we'll get farmer jake to come back yeah have any know. of you guys were any of you here for farmer jake's episode mm -hmm. aka my brother who I don't know if he likes if I call him Farmer Jake, but I do it a lot. Cute. <laughs> good morning, Callie. How are mm -hmm. you today? And good morning from upstate New York. Mm -hmm. What is going on? So today, I, f uh, I know. I'm going to cry. Uh, she, I'm going to miss her. What, uh, we've been working I'll together for guys. like a year now? I think it's like right on yeah. the cusp. Right? Yeah, I think... I started, oh, my one year was last Friday. I think your one year is like beginning of October. Yeah. Pretty much both a year. We're almost there. Fruit shoots, coffee, December. Yep. Yeah. And mm -hmm. she has been such a blessing to work with. Aww. And I'm actually incredibly sad that she'll be leaving us. But. Friends. Luckily, forever. we're friends. <laughs> yeah. And we will be able like, to see whoa. her. I will be able to see her again. I might even yes. try to convince her to come back for like a houseplant episode every now and again. So we'll see. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. <laughs> that was not discussed, but we'll see. Um, That's why yeah, I did it, it here, happen. so it she can't happen. back out. Yeah. Yeah. So, hey, Chicken Patty, how are you today? Uh, just got my biggest order of seeds from you guys. I planted some last night. What did you plant? Ooh. Nice. Just yeah. Just getting on that fall garden. I just, I guess I'm just fascinated by everyone's fall harvest because, you know, as someone that does a lot of houseplants and now as much with outdoor gardening, it was a surprise to me. Like, I didn't think about that before, that you get that second harvest. So, yeah. yeah there's every a, time people bring it up, I'm like, second harvest. There's still yeah. a lot of season left to be had. Mm -hmm. um, hi, Lacey. Yeah, we'll hi. miss her. Good morning from Florida. And good morning from mm -hmm. Trinidad. Good morning from Philly, UP, Michigan. Hey, Lori, whereabouts in the UP are you? I'm heading up there soon. I don't know where or when yet, but I need to go. go. I need I need so like a, a weekend in nature without technology. Mm -hmm. <sighs> It'll be good. A little mm -hmm. grounding. Um, it's beautiful hello there. from New Mexico. What's up, Kelly? Mm -hmm. Are you guys getting ready for garlic season? Are you ready, prepared? What have mm -hmm. you done so far to get prepared? Mustang James says, yo, i got so many peppers, it's ridiculous, gonna dehydrate some. I've never dehydrated peppers. Mm -hmm. That's a good idea. Yeah, you can either do it like in the stove, in a dehydrator, or cert, I don't, okay, I say certain peppers because I think it works better with hot peppers personally, mm. is you can string them. Like oh. needle and thread through them mm -hmm. and just hang them up to dry. Yeah. And 
and too. looks cute. <laughs> yeah. Very easy. Oh, Lori's in Iron River. Nice. Oh, um, I don't know this. Yeah, so you can hide them in all different ways. This week, by the end of the week, I will have put up almost three bushels of peppers. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The ultimate homesteader. <laughs> Rosemary, mystery seeds, lemon balm, cone flower. Aww. Look, you have uh, just the first so many I read. I hope you are going to look into making teas because that's one of my favorite things to do. And you have a lot of plants that are fantastic for tea making. Mm-hmm. Uh, Lacey says, yes, give me the garlic. I can't wait. <laughs> I know a lot of people are waiting for garlic. It's just such a useful Do you measure garlic? Harvest. All right. I think you eyeball it. All right. Yeah. So when it says put one clove of garlic in a recipe, how many cloves do you put in? I think it depends what you're making, kind of. You put in Seven, extra, though, probably. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I do love garlic. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Okay, guys. If, if the recipe calls for one clove of garlic... How much are you putting in? We know it's more than one. Don't lie. Yeah, but not seven. <laughs> seven on. might have been. This is a little excess. <laughs> Six and a half. Uh, uh, running behind, have been dehydrating veggies. Uh, nice job, Kelly. You know, that's kind of my biggest downfall this year is I'm not dehydrating like I should be, which is silly. I have three of them, but the process of just loading and unloading, yeah. and I just, I'm not doing it. It's hard to get motivated for that kind of thing sometimes but you're doing a lot of canning yeah. too so i think by the time you're through with that it's like another step where in all reality it would take me you now five minutes to load it up before i start my canning project and i need to get on it i probably wouldn't be that big a deal yeah yeah uh, my only thing with dehydrators is you got to watch your timing unless you do you know we talked about using your um yeah the timer for your like grow lights or something or your christmas lights or whatever yeah. you have it for unless you do that Let's say you don't have that and you start dehydrating something. Just watch your timing when you start because you want to kind of keep an eye on it. You don't want to just let it go all and night. And I think that's part of the reason I've been slacking on it yeah. so hard because, like, I am i don't want to divide my attention one step further. Yeah. My Excalibur is great because it's got the timer. I can set a temperature. Yeah. But my other two are just, you know, Yeah, mine whatever. doesn't, and I have to keep an eye on it. And one time I got sucked staying up till 2 or 3 watching some lemons dry. None it's of terrible. that. I wouldn't... <laughs> I would be like, well, if they turn out great, it was meant to be. And if they don't, I at least got some sleep. (laughs) Uh, Dehydrated basil. Yes. I am. And the thing is, I'm almost out of my dehydrated veggies. Or not veggies. Well, yes. But herbs from last year. Because when I do my canning in the fall, I clear out basically all my last year's dehydrated herbs. Oh. mm -hmm. So that way they get used up and I can have fresh the next year. And I'm like out. So I need to, I need to get on it. Run out of time. No. <clears throat> um, can we grow garlic bulb from a clove? Agriculture, best culture. Yeah, mm. that's kind of how it works. Yep. So how you'll do it is when you order your garlic in, um, you'll get it in bulb form. Mm-hmm. I wish I had show and tell, but it's I not know. here yet. It'll be here soon. Soon, next yeah. week maybe we'll mm-hmm. have show and tell. You're going to take apart the bulb itself, the whole head, and separate out the cloves while leaving the skin intact. There, If the skin falls off, a lot of people say, oh, don't put it in, rot, whatever. But in my opinion, it's either going to rot and feed my soil, you know, just break down, yeah. or it might grow. Take off. <laughs> yeah. So if I accidentally break the paper... I'm going to plant it anyways and hope I get a, Mm -hmm. you know, hope I get something from it, if anything, food for my soil. So, yeah, you're planting the individual cloves. Yep. And then do you remember the orientation that you planted in from last year? Mm -mm. No? This is a lot of a year ago. Yeah. And me a new gardener. And you're, I mean, you were brand new then, too. Yeah. So, you're just Mm -hmm. taking much gap. Yep. First month. So, your cloves Mm -hmm. are thicker, like more blunt on one end and pointy on the other pointy where they're coming up yeah you know what i mean i get so I get the what you pointy mean. end points up uh, okay that makes yeah. sense yeah mm-hmm. um easy. and they're good growers though too i mean yeah so we have a warehouse location where we packaged up a lot of the garlic and in that time like a lot of heads we've talked about before got thrown off into the kind of gravel lot off to the side and they took off yeah i mean things want to grow and 
That was something that wasn't broken up or anything. It was probably broke a little bit, but that's probably what But it wasn't it like, it wasn't planted. Yeah, it wasn't it was planted. It was just tossed into yep. a pile of leaves and it took off. So, so yeah, if you're nervous about yeah. growing garlic, um, it wants to grow. So, you know, it'll probably work out for you. Um, use an appliance timer. Yes. Yeah. And it's so funny. For, I mean, she's talking about for dehydrators. Mm -hmm. um, I never thought about it until last week when someone made the comment I okay so someone had posted it on Instagram and it was their husband who like nonchalantly threw out the best idea ever and she's like you're a genius <laughs> you're a genius it's so good um let's see hello hello do you guys know when does it go on sale um yes. welcome for those who are just getting logged in garlic should be to us within the next Within the week, probably. Within the next week. Yeah. The problem is we don't have an exact no, time exact of it. We'll probably get an update, actually, probably later today or tomorrow, hopefully. But, um, yeah. Yeah, we could just ask. And then by next week, we should know probably the launch date of yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. We, we are planning normally. There's not a set date quite just because we want to make sure we get it in and we want to check through it and make sure things are good before we offer it up. Um, yeah. Yeah. So, there's a little bit of a process. So... There will be, I'm sure, plenty of posts on the at my Gardener social media. Yeah. We can do one on our Root Shoots and Coffee Instagram as well. And just keep an eye out for those. And um, if you sign and the up. the newsletter yeah, and all those sign up for the newsletter. Things. Yep. It'll get out there. We just don't have it yet. Should you build a greenhouse for basil? I think uh, you should. If you have the ability to build a greenhouse, do it. It'll just yeah. warm your soul. For I anything, don't know where you are. Your basil doesn't just need it. No, everything, everything needs it. it. Yeah. Um, I would build, build it. Oh, Randy. Randy <laughs> oh. says, I found three mealybugs on my Adansani. That is a bummer. I I will say, I think mealybugs. You say they're the easiest because they're the easiest to see. They don't see. bother me as much. They're the easiest to see. Yeah. And I just kind of wipe them off. And then normally they leave kind of that residue behind. So I just wipe it all down. You can spray it with alcohol. But still, it's not good to find it and to see three, you don't know, you know, quarantine it, check your other plants around it because three could have got around. Was that a lot? Yeah. I, I mean, the only time I've ever found it in my house, I, I had one little baby and I was um, like, goodbye. And bye. I didn't have any others. Yeah. Hmm. But it is the year of the pest, I swear. Like, I have so many thrips this year and I've never had them before. Oh. Yeah, let's talk about some varieties that we have coming up. Is that interesting? Do you guys do you guys want to know mm -hmm. more about garlic and what's coming? Um, garlic goes fast. When bulbs come in and we put them up for sale, they go quick. So typically, I don't like to do kind of like a pluggy on here, but I want you guys to be prepared so you guys can get the varieties you want that are yeah. best suited for your area. Um, Dugansky is one of the varieties that we typically carry. Um, it is a super popular, I'm going to head down to it. I do, I will say that I, we're not getting it this year. No, oh, it's still, I'm it's, pretty sure. it, it's, we don't know yet. Okay. Yeah. We're waiting. So there was a, the grower who we typically get it mm -hmm. from did have a partial crop loss. And, um, so we're just trying to see what, what, and if we can get it. So yeah. hold on tight. Don't give up hope yet. Um, There's but, still a lot of good varieties too. Besides that, so yeah, I don't even. We have. If you have not, if you're not on the the newsletter, you wouldn't have seen it most likely. But I did a blog last week mm -hmm. about all of our garlic varieties, mm -hmm. what they're about, where they're best grown. Um, just I try to get as much info as I could in there in a short, you know, amount of space. So that way you guys could be prepared. If you haven't seen it, go to the M.I. Gardener website in the upper, I think it's the right-hand corner. I believe it's the right-hand corner to sign up. It yeah. looks different on everything, I feel like. Well, yeah. even because I made it into a blog, it's not just on the newsletter because it's hard to get past newsletters. So mm -hmm. just hit blog in the upper right-hand corner. It's the first one because it was the last one I put up. Uh, and that tells you all about our garlic. So we have two soft neck varieties coming in. Can we talk about the difference too between the hard neck and soft? Yeah. Yeah. Do you guys Break know some of the differences? Curious. Curious. Uh, I don't quite remember everything. That's fine. I, I know that'll help uh, yeah. make some decisions out there. Let's see. I have almost no more room on the porch to plant, but I'm trying to figure something out. 
Shelves. Honestly, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Either shelves or also take pictures of it and post it somewhere and someone will be like, help me make room here and they will help you rearrange too. Um, it's just sometimes it's nice to have another set of eyes on it. Yeah. So that mm-hmm. way they might have a good idea. That's true. Yeah. I buy organic garlic from Whole Foods and plant it. Grows well. Should I be planting some other kind? You can definitely buy organic garlic mm-hmm. from a store and do it. Um, I do. If you're going to go that route, go organic. Um, make sure uh, it's, you know, chemical pesticide free. Uh, just because you don't want that to be in your garden. And it's definitely a possibility. Now, when you're ordering from, or not ordering, buying from a store, you typically have like your one and done variety, most often a hard neck. Um, so you're missing out on, you know, the heirloom esque of yes. things and what that <laughs> brings you, um, whether it's um, climate, like growth in different climates. Um, flavors, all of that. Garlic most often for grocery stores is grown somewhere else. So you take that into account too. So like it could be grown in a southern state and I live in Michigan and it might it might be a great option for a southern state. It's not so great for me in Michigan. So yeah. you're going to get a better yield from a garlic that is more suited to your environment. So take that anything you buy from the store always take that concept into consideration what you got soft neck for south Mm -hmm. hard neck for north Uh, that's a decent rule of thumb but it's not hard and fast no i feel like it's a general rule though yeah it's not bad but i do point out varieties that could do both do well both ways Mm -hmm. um in that blog Oh, Jenny. Garlic is one plant I will never grow. It gives horrible heartburn. A lot of people really struggle with uh, the acidity of it. So you're not alone. Um, The closest I've got to growing garlic was onions. Give it a shot because garlic, I think, is a lot of fun Mm -hmm. because it's our first step into the Garden of 22, you know, into our next season. Mm -hmm. And even though I'm still working and cultivating what we have, um, to make sure I have a solid harvest for this season, it's cool to get the next one going. And it's, you know, yeah. snow hasn't even hit the ground yet. Keeps you busy too, you know, when you start to get out of the busyness of the summer season and you're into the fall. Because um, basically, you just want to plant it before your first, like, hard, hard, ground yeah. Frost. Mm-hmm. Yeah, your ground shows. And so you do have kind of a lot of time to do it. So it's kind of like the last thing you do almost before you start buying a proceed for the next season unless you start doing that already oh no we've already done that <laughs> yeah <laughs> hopefully well, the new yes. season. Mm-hmm. but it's it's just it's a nice first step into the next season i keep hearing it's hard to grow mm. in florida possible um okay because Go it's it cold don't you think that would be yeah it? so mm-hmm. garlic I never thought about that. Does need a cold period, but remember, for especially for like other seeds, we've talked about this before. You have modes of introducing that cold snap. Mm-hmm. Do you know what they are? How can you fake a cold yeah, winter? Like, shove it in your freezer. Shove it in the freezer. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, that could be an option. You can put it in the freezer Fridge, for a while. Something stratified, kind of just baby step it. As well, too. Yeah, it just yeah. needs... It, it needs a little help in hand if you can't just put it in your cold ground. Yeah, now, often in southern states, warmer states that don't get a good fr- uh, a good freeze, what you'll get is you'll get green growth and no bulb growth. And that's a big problem that I hear, especially right now as questions are coming in about garlic, is that, oh, they grew it yeah. last year, but all they got were greens. They let it die back. They go to harvest. And unfortunately, there's like nothing on the other end mm-hmm. and it's defeating because i mean what we said we put garlic in the ground it's september so october ish november ish long and time we to wait and see <laughs> harvest it early to mid-summer and mm-hmm. it's a it's a long time to wait for a failed crop and that's unfortunate um can you plant garlic now you don't want to plant it when it's too hot out Mm-mm. so it, i don't know where you are because that's obviously my next question it's got to be cold colder first 
Do you amend the soil with anything first? Lori, awesome question. Absolutely. Um, I do, I'm gonna be honest, I think we have a blog about that too. Um, it's called, Are You Ready for Garlic Season? So make sure you're utilizing these blogs. You know, I'm putting all this info out there that coordinates with what I'm doing in the garden. And I know we're not all in the same zone, but it's at least what, what I'm doing. So you're either doing it, just have done it, it's a good time to learn. So make sure you're utilizing the blogs. Um, Shirley, so, yeah. Sorry. Go Shirley ahead. asks, why would the clothes rot before sprouting? I think that goes back to like if the skin is broken and moisture is getting before it's time to take off and grow roots and become hardier. That would be one thing. Um, maybe another thing is just it naturally dying before it can get planted if you're waiting too long or something or... I don't know. We well, you don't water your cloves as soon as they go in the ground, right? right. You just plant them mm -hmm. and let them be. Because if there's too much moisture, that's what is going to cause also rot. rot. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So the yeah. roots aren't there to start taking up that moisture. Right. So now you're just watering a clove. That's mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Got nothing to give you. Yeah. Yeah. What do you, do you start? So like for me, I'll start it late October, maybe early November is when I'll put garlic in the ground. So amending your soil, Lori, um, you're gonna wanna replenish like your trace minerals with your azomite. Um, you're gonna wanna put as much organic matter back into the soil. Garlic needs organic matter, so load that up. Um, those are just a couple things you can get going on. Mm -hmm. um, walking. Mrs. Posa walking onions, but I don't, that's not something that we carry. I'm really curious about Jenny, yeah. So we did, we had a, a viewer come in and share some walking onions with us, which I am so thrilled. Um, Luke was so generous to share them with me as well for that my garden. Awesome. <laughs> yeah, and uh, it's something I've been looking for for a while, and I wanted to get them locally um, from someone who grows them close, just mm -hmm. adaptability. Right. And um, it was, he did this video, I don't know if you saw it, I it did. was like the mm -hmm. friendship bread of the garden. It was, it was quite cute. cute. Concept okay. wise, I was like, winner. Yeah. Because um, sourdough right. is like the original friendship bread. Okay. Because your sourdough, your starter builds. Okay. And you just share it with people because you're like, I have so much. <laughs> Take it. Take it. And um, so then he was talking about things in the garden that multiply quickly that you can mm. share and cultivate I gotcha. new friendships. Walking That's in. cute. Um, so they're new to me. And they're new to Luke's garden. I know he's grown them in the past, but to this garden, they're new. And I do, I know they're harder to find. Yeah. Um, I never heard of it, honestly. I saw cool. some talk about it before online, but. So you them. plant this like um, set. It, it's like a set of cloves is what oh, it looks like. Okay. And so you plant it in the ground and your onions will grow from there. And mm -hmm. then as they die, it'll produce like a flower hat on top and fall over. And it'll reroot itself right there. So that's why it's called a walking onion. It'll that's literally cute. walk across your yard. Kind of like invasive in that effect, but I think concept is really I think cool. it's really cool because I don't know of any other plant that is quite like that. Yeah. yeah that's interesting. Um, walking onion sets are very stable. Very well, maybe. We unfortunately just don't have access to a bulk supply of it where we can get it out to you guys. Um, I have been talking to Luke about it, so hopefully we can figure something out for the future. That'd be a fun thing to carry in addition. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Ooh, do you know Carol's question? Mine is loading very slow. How do you keep see. harvested oh, yeah. garlic bulbs from getting soft before you get to use them? Is this gonna be like seed storage? Sure, yep. yeah. <laughs> so I store them in a dark, cool place that's dry. Yeah, yep. cool, dark, dry. Um, yep. Certain varieties will store longer than others. Info in the blog. Um, mm -hmm. On which ones are the longest storing? Your hard necks. Um, store the longest your soft don't quite as long um, and then what else yeah cool dark place yeah and that'll help you get to them before they spoil on you which is which we like yeah yeah <laughs> and that's a long time I mean garlic is a great storage crop mm -hmm. I put two one inches of compost on two to one inches of compost on the bed before planting anything You've got it. That's how I, I typically do um, four inches in the fall and four inches in the spring, just because it helps build my beds up too. And food for life. 
how do I get the blog? Oh. I've tried several times to get newsletter and blog with no success. Okay, Sharon, go on to the website. In the top right corner, are you seeing the word blog? It says shop, new, uh, explore at my gardener, blog, newsletter. The blog. <laughs> I'm sorry. They love, make fun of me all I the love time it. No, for I this. I love to talk with their hands. I'm just going to hold this pen. Um, <laughs> the blog is open to everyone. You don't have to sign up for the blog. It's just always on our website. Uh, the newsletter, give us a call this afternoon and we'll make sure you're signed up for the newsletter. Um, our, our number's online. I don't know if I heart. Forgive me. Yeah. We'll get it figured out, though. But send us an email. Give us a call. We'll get there. Can onions and garlic be planted in the same bed? Sure. Yeah, they can. But onions and garlic are a fantastic crop uh, for deterring pests. Mm, so you want to so spread it out. I encourage you to spread it out. There's no reason you have to have one bed dedicated to it. Spread it out. Just know where you put it. Create a border. Know where. There you go. <laughs> just know where it is because if you go and plant something over it, you're going to be like, ah, dang. Yeah. <laughs> okay, yeah. Charlotte about? says they've mailed mm -hmm. walking onions from Ohio to Arizona yeah. with no issue. That's awesome. Um, yeah, we have a, I have a lot to learn about walking onions. Yeah. They're new to me. So send me all the info you got. Seems like something that they might be interested in carrying in the future possibly but for now you're right we're on our garlic season our focus walking yeah. onions are more like shallots they're potent but don't have large bulbs very cool i'm excited to get back up um Linnea, my backyard is full of walking onions from a neighbor i wonder is that because they walked onto your property yeah walk into your property or was it a gift can you get yeah. them for trespassing <laughs> There you go. I have bad dad jokes. My grandpa sends me jokes all day long, and I can't help it sometimes. I think it's cute. <laughs> um, uh, a lot of garden dad jokes exist out there. Oh, who's did I tell you the duck one? Oh, no. No, I don't think so. My grandpa has ducks. That's why I got brought up. And I go, Grandpa, what do you do when you want to go on vacation, but you have ducks? And he goes, call Cousin Cody. I go, no, you get them in a row. Uh. <laughs> It's terrible. I know. It's so oh, bad. Oh, I get you ducks in a row. I really enjoy it, though. <laughs> All right. You get um, your ducks in a row. <laughs> I'm bartering seeds I got from you guys. We're all excited. Yes. Bartering. I'm here for people using the bartering system. Is I think it's superior. Um, yeah, so good. I would like to hear more about you guys and Walking Onions, so feel free to send emails over because I would like to learn as much as I can before I get mine in the ground. You plant them similar time frame as your garlic, so mm -hmm. I've heard. So it's coming. Um, so in that that blog that talks about like varieties, Aww. I just wanted to name what we got. What? Oh, she's like, yes, they walk into my property, smiley face. <laughs> <laughs> they just cross on over. That's funny. <laughs> So we have German extra hardy, uh, chestnut purple, Persian star, Amish, music, mm -hmm. and hopefully Dugansky as our hardnecks. Mm -hmm. And then we have uh, Natuka Rose, and I hope I didn't butcher that. The names get hard. And I'm going to butcher the next one too. Angelium Red. Oh, yeah. Confidence. You're just going for it. That was right, Angelium. Oh, mm -hmm. dang. Nailed it. Yeah. Um, how do you cure garlic after harvest? Not store after cure. So to cure your garlic, you are going to leave it in a dry, arid, arid, dry, same thing, um, spot. So that way, uh, a warm, dry spot. Opposite yes, of how you're storing yep. things. <laughs> um, and that way, it'll dry out the neck which if there's moisture still in the neck, um, mm -hmm. it will, it can cause rot. Mm -hmm. You don't want that. I need to put my hands down. I'm just gonna hold the book. I'm never gonna hear the end That's of okay. this after this video. <laughs> I also talk my hands, but I still, anytime someone like makes sound effects or something or uses their hands, I'm just always like, you. yeah, I like it. <laughs> One of our coworkers yeah. always does this with their hands, so I started doing it. <laughs> it's addicting. Oh, yeah, it's a problem. But anyway, wood chips. Okay, I'm using back to Eden style gardening with wood chips on the soil. Mm -hmm. You think walking onions would work well in that setting? Sovereign Farmstead, what do you think? Can, with the back to Eden method, 
Will it work well um, in the wood chips? Uh, North Chester would like to know, and I don't know. Yeah, I'm not too sure. I would think it would make it a little bit more difficult offhand, but I'm not totally sure. I would just think the wood chips would block at some, but everything wants to grow, and I can still get It'll the soil. It'll find its way. Yeah. yeah. Um, do you gals have a favorite garlic? I mean, the Gansky always sounds good to me, and I love the name, but we might not have it. So I Flavor-wise, I really like um, the striped varieties. Mm, like um, yeah, mm -hmm. that have that purple stripe going through. Just the flavor wise is more well rounded. Um, I'm a big fan of garlic. Obviously, I said I add seven cloves. Yeah, <laughs> and um, I could I could pop a clove in my mouth and like eat it that way. Nah, I could. No, nah. <laughs> and uh, so I like I like the well rounded balance of flavor when it, those have it the most. The ones that are like stark white um, seem to be way more intense to me. Yeah. Um, never lost her word says I'm in Australia and planted garlic bulbs in March. It's funny too how our seasons are so different. Okay, every time I check one, the roots have grown, but there is no head of garlic. Is this normal? Spring started here. She said thirty seconds ago, maybe like <laughs> thirty days ago. I don't know. Or it but, just happened. Yeah, but why would that you're happen? doing it? Well, mm -hmm. yeah, because you got to have roots first. Yeah, right. Yeah, it's just earlier in. Right? Yeah, I'm, so I can't picture my head lining up the season right. Where they would be at right now to know. Right. <laughs> but it just sounds like it's in the process of still developing. Yeah, exactly. So, like I said, you have a clove. We don't water it until it has roots, right? So when roots start to come out, um, then it's able to take up the water. From there, it will start to... Um, not yet. It's got to send up green. Because, like, some people will pull garlic a little early. Mm -hmm. And you'll see just like one giant bulb. Yeah. And you're like, I didn't plant elephant garlic. No, you didn't. It no, just didn't. it hasn't <laughs> it hasn't made its cloves yet. Um, so yeah, nice work. You're almost there. Um, Sovereign Northchester, yes. Um, you can absolutely use it in uh, back to Eden gardening. Boop boop. Is garlic available to order yet? Soon. Not yet. Within the next two weeks, I'm guessing. Keep an eye out. It's mm -hmm. a common. It's, it's mint. <laughs> also, she became Italian. <laughs> it's all the garlic. No. <laughs> I've been making pasta sauce for days. Are you Italian? <laughs> Italian. Oh, no. Really? It just yes. too. <laughs> Hands when talking. I am the furthest thing from Italian, but apparently I want to be. I love this. So. Yeah, I well, my <laughs> husband is Italian, and he yeah yeah, but I talk my hands way more than he does. Mm. So I don't know. He's trying to hide it. Mm -hmm. Uh, you have to dodge the hands or get slapped by accident. Yeah, one of my best friends growing up, uh, her family's Italian. And, yeah, they'd swing for anyone. Be like, ha! <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. Uh, uh, ten here. Uh, I'm here. Christina, you made it. We're happy you're here. What are you doing before this? That you get here, like, just a few minutes after? She said she needs to work? set her alarm. Maybe sleeping. Oh, That'd be nice. Snoozing. There's a lot to learn. You got to wake up and take on the day. I'm trying to get my husband to do that. He is not an early riser, and I'm like. Nor is my husband. Nor am I, but I do it. I'm like the early bird gets a worm. No. Like up and I at mean, him. <laughs> I, I love a sunrise with my coffee and just to see the dark come to light, and I'm like. It's so hard to get out of bed when it's warm and your alarm goes off. And like now that there's less sun in the morning, my room was so dark when I woke up that I was like, what, what is, is wrong? This? And I was disoriented. And then like, you know, 30 minutes later, it's fine. But yeah, I don't know. That's what but, I do. I wake up and I'm like, I don't want to get out of bed. I'm like, Ooh, but I, my garden's outside. No. I could just go look at it real quick. No. Nah. I mean, <laughs> I like to play bunnies. I just got bunnies this weekend and I have my guinea pigs. So. They're a little bit motivation, but yes, once I'm out of bed, it's great. However, uh, this was a tangent, but <laughs> hmm. um, let's see. We are kind of winding down on time here. If you guys have any more questions, too, you know, we'll Sean try to get some more. asked, "Is there a way to tell what kind of garlic is growing?" Mm. I planted some uh, mm. chestnut and music, and now I have a bunch of mixed up bulbs. I mean, did you did you plant them like in rows or something that as Would long get, as you can figure the middle? 
you know, you'll know that this happened, this happened. Which was ultimately. Um, mm-hmm. Otherwise, it's probably going to be by picture. It has the red like we talked about in it. Music is a stark white, white mm-hmm. variety. Um, and so it just might be a happy surprise. Like a little around. curve in it too, I think, too. Oh, okay. I in the neck, yeah. So I feel like once it develops more, you'll know. So at least, at least... These are kind of differentiating varieties looks wise. Yeah. Also good use of that garlic emoji that I did not know existed. Very cute. <laughs> I'm just not a cognitive morning person. I get it. Mm-hmm. Um, even though my two year old seems to think Ooh. so. Good. Just have her log on. We'll talk with her. Gardening is awesome, but don't forget to plant medicinal plants. I, hey, I'm here for that. Um, mm-hmm. Farmer Jake and I um, have been really big on getting medicinal perennials in mm. this year so that way we we're prepped and ready to go for next year yeah and um yeah we really enjoy doing teas and tink he does the tincture tinctures tinctures i know yeah, i know it's mm. a terrible word and it's <laughs> terrible it's great but it's terrible mm-hmm. Ooh, they want to know what kind of rabbits you have oh oh new zealand's um so mine are kind of mutts uh i got a holland lop rex mix and he's got one floppy ear and one perky ear and his name is really- Oh, Brooks. Brooks. And then our other one is a is definitely Muppet. She looks more dwarf. Um, or he, sorry. We named him Albus. And he's white. Harry Potter. And it's Harry Potter. Yeah. Um, so cute. But yeah. Um, I wish I knew more about medicinals. I think everyone should learn more about medicinals. I have this book, and I actually, I taught a tea course here, I don't know, two months ago. Yeah. And um, I suggested it to them, too. I think it's just called the Big Book of Medicinal Herbs or something, and it is stock mm-hmm. full of information. Maybe I'll That's see you in your absence if I can get Farmer Jake on. I know he wants yeah. to talk about lunar gardening again. Mm. Part um, two. Yeah, part two, because he's like, I've learned so much this year. So he's ready to share that, mm-hmm. and he is just has so much information on medicinal plants and yeah. cultivating them. So mm-hmm. maybe, are you guys interested in that if we get Sir Farmer Jake on here? Sir Farmer Jake. The title gets, keeps growing. It gets better yeah. and better. <laughs> Does garlic need a lot of water? No, not in the beginning. Not until uh, next season. Do you really get watering? Um, I just want to throw out there because normally we just answer, you know, your garden questions. But um, C3 Adkins asks, how long do you guys typically take to process an order? I will just say, because we are getting a lot of phone calls right now about this too, normally we're pretty quick and on top of it, I would say... As in, like, we are, our website says we have, what, uh, in our normal times, it's five to seven business days. Yep. Um, when we put a sale out there, you have to understand that we have that cha- that day for time frame changes because we have, you know, four times the orders that come or in. Or more. <laughs> or more. Like, honestly. Like, um, 4,000. Which is... Uh, such a phenomenal a blessing it's awesome yeah. for the company it's great for us keeping us busy too and yeah. you know the more the merrier so then we go about it is to like 10 right now 10 maybe 11 day processing time mm-hmm. um and like you do have the option to pay for rush processing that is not rush shipping that's yeah. just rush processing um i think it's five dollars in order and that like puts you at the top of our list and it puts you to the next day so next you day. literally print to the next day yeah. versus right now if you're at like eight days out or something yeah um so a little faster but yeah i just want to say um we are working on getting those out to you guys it does just take quite a while to get them all done uh we're having orders that are like you know 80 seeds yeah and you guys uh, are checking them so we're getting well, there because it's our last seed sale i mean once yep. they're done and I think we said the, the sale goes to the fourth, maybe. I think you got four yeah. days left. You might extend it, maybe, but I don't think I don't so. know. I don't know. Um, but yeah. I heard we're not. Um, so if you're getting them, getting them in. Get I would get out. them now. Just so you know, what's going to happen is it'll go into uh, grow bags, which is like discounted random bags, so you don't know what seed you're getting. But right. it's really fun. But then um, we won't have seeds back in stock till November 5th. Yeah. So if you're looking, I would buy now 50% off anyway. It's final 50 is the code. Yeah, we're getting some great feedback on um, medicinal and lunar. Yeah, cool. I'll get them. I know. We'll do it. So we may have like a week hiatus after Kirsten and then so after. I'm just going to start bringing in special guests. I love it. That's mm-hmm. what I'm, I'm going to have a talk show. We need some Isn't more. Great? I'm just going to bring too. random. Yes. yes. And flower people. 
Yeah, I know some of y'all are interested flowers. in growing flowers. Mm -hmm. I've been learning a lot, but I can bring in some experts there. This will be fun. Okay, um, real quick, I'm gonna power through these last like five things and then we're gone. Uh, during a 50s sale, it's probably madness. Yes. Um, medicinal plants, comfrey yes. is a great thing to look into. Mm -hmm. So if you don't know about it, that's your homework for tonight. Look up comfrey and its benefits. Uh, love to see Sir Gardener Jake. <laughs> He's gonna love so this. So cute. Um, and don't worry, we'll get Kirsten back here. Uh, she I'll loves me enough too. that she'll enjoy or she'll agree to come back maybe once, twice. We'll see. How do yeah. we get to your site? I would like to. How do we get mm -hmm. to your site and the teas, especially the medicinal? So our site currently does have a tea category things we are building a new site so everyone get excited for that because like more bandwidth all the things all the things. um but we're we're organizing it a little different so by you know by the end of the year is our goal we will be having uh, different categories that makes it a lot easier to find the seeds that best suit you mm -hmm. um we can't extend it just get on it sovereign um i make six gallons of tea every week great how do we get your site into the teas just answered that people love the teas and yeah. lunar yep yeah Plus. so if you're looking at medicinal plants look in this little chat section because people are throwing up what they love to grow this chat section is like a wealth of knowledge if you're here late replay it go through it mm -hmm. so much info all right uh, you might have uh, to reshare your news yep here it goes oh yeah unfortunately mm -hmm. kirsten is leaving us Sorry. Everyone cry. Um, on command. Yeah. She got a new job. Tell us about it. Yeah. I'm going to start working at um, a vet office. So just kind of keep she doing is, things. Yeah. She is an, an animal lover. She yep. has two guinea pigs who she loves and adores. She just picked up her two bunnies who are Yesterday, just fluffy literally. as can be. So cute. Um, um, but yeah, I, it'll be a good fit. And yeah, so I will miss this. Um, don't worry. They have a lot of plants in the office. So <laughs> I'll be taking care of those. But Hopefully, um, I don't have a set schedule, so I can be. We'll get her maybe back in sometime. Her here and there, we'll see. Yeah, but here and there. I have loved to reach some coffee with Haley here. She's my my pal, and yeah, I love getting to know you guys. You know, through chat and everything, recognizing yeah. you guys and kind of talking and learning so much from you all and Haley and this whole process. So, so next yeah. week is going to be Kirsten's last uh, like yes. scheduled oh, roots, yep. shoots and coffee with us. After that, we'll probably take a week or so hiatus. I'm um, just as I'm planning who is gonna be the first guest who's star gonna or come permanent. back mm -hmm. after Kirsten because you can't just replace her. No, good luck. She's too good kidding. for that. Um, it'll be a little yeah. different, but it'll be good. You know, mm -hmm. it'll be good. Yeah, we'll miss oh her. She's gonna do well. Wish her well. Um, she does have a heart of gold, and these animals are really gonna benefit from it. Aww. So thank you. Yeah. Um, I just throw it out there. John Mark says he has 20 bunnies. Okay. <laughs> also, show us the bunnies. <laughs> yes. Also, please. She wants a bird next. Oh. Actually, she wanted a bird before I the bunny and somehow ended up with I'm bunnies. I'm not going to go that way. Oh, probably. I don't know. One cocker spaniel next. We'll see. Lots of luck coming in. Oh, Christina, don't worry. Guys. We're not going away long. Thanks, Lori, Melissa. Yeah. We have a nice little fam here. Yep. Yeah. We appreciate you guys and quite a bit. Yeah. So we'll be here next week. Um, you know, you can still follow us for Shoots and Coffee on Instagram. We'll still respond to your messages. And you can comment on this video. We'll still answer those questions too. So next yeah. week, I do want it to be more houseplant-led just because I want her to pack us with as much <laughs> knowledge before she leaves because mm -hmm. I have a lot of houseplants and I need to know how to keep them alive. So she is going to kind of talk about getting changing of seasons again with house plants mm -hmm. and all that brings and so throw us your questions anything um that you have for us say so yeah, prepare those plant questions for next week uh, mm -hmm. uh what does that say you buy comfy which one are you reading? The, <laughs> wait it says have you found out about the something hands plant praying hands plant oh a prayer plant i don't see the i don't see the question I, here actually it's but it's up okay um anywho we'll come back to that yeah okay. Very nice. we'll yeah see about that next week yeah we'll talk <laughs> we about it next week so questions. bring all of your house fan questions um meet us next week at 9 30 and until then